What's up, guys? We get here, workingclassfitness.com, and I am sick as a damn dog. I've been knocked flat on my ass here for the past couple of days. Uh, some sort of a nasty cold, flu bug, I don't know, some shit like that. I don't know what it is. I can uh, barely hear out of one ear. Uh, nose has just been running like crazy. I feel like somebody has like, stuffed a balloon inside my head, and it's just blowing it up until you know both my eardrums go, you know, so good times. Anyway, um, the uh, the whole reason why I'm making this video is actually because I'm sick, and it leads right into an issue I've dealt with many times in the past, you know, over the past umpteen years I've been training, and a question I get asked, you know, at least fairly decently, is, uh, or fairly often, is, you know, what do you do about, you know, training or working out when you're sick? You know, should you work through it? Should you just take some time off? Should you uh, go in and train kind of easy? You know, wh what do you do? And uh, well, I'll tell you, I'll just kind of give you an idea of what I've been dealing with and what I've done and what I'm doing. And then maybe that can give you an idea of, you know, how you should go forward with it, what you should do next time you get sick. Now, I've been fighting this bullshit for about a month. I've been fighting, trying to get it, you know, keep from getting it for about a month now. Um... You know, three weeks a month, I, you know, I would feel kind of, you know, funky for a day or two. And, uh, you know, my throat would start to hurt a little bit or I, you know, nose would start to run. I feel like I was just on the verge of getting it. And I would go ahead and really kick in the preemptive measures. You know, I would, you know, get some extra sleep, uh, start popping vitamin C like, you know, peanuts, you know, uh, maybe take a little bit of medicine. I, I'm not real big on medicine. You know, if you know me, I'm, um, I'm one of these guys. I don't like taking a lot of medicine unless it's absolutely necessary. You know, I'm just not one of these pill popping kind of guys. But anyway, uh, I might take just a tad bit of medicine, something like that. You know, something to try and just kind of, uh, you know, boost up the immune system, you know, increase the vegetable intake, you know, really just kind of, you know, build up the, the defenses. And I'll just keep living life like normal. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll hit the gym. If I'm feeling really puny, like if I got a day to where, you know, I feel like I'm right on the verge of getting it. I might back off. I'll still hit the gym and I'll still work out, but maybe I'll dial back the intensity just a little bit. Maybe I'll, um, you know, if I'm doing complexes, maybe I won't go quite as hard, or maybe I'll increase my rest a little bit more. Or maybe I'll, uh, uh, you know, drop a, a round off, or maybe if I'm doing, you know, tempo intervals, I won't do quite as many, or uh, I'll uh, go a little bit easier, or something like that. You know, I'll just dial back the. Uh, intensity of effort or the RPE, you know, how hard I'm working um, a little bit if I feel like I'm really puny. If I feel like I just have a little something coming on, then, you know, I, as long as I've got the other preemptive measures in, in, in place and going, then the hell with it. I just keep on working hard. And that's been working for me for about the past, like I say, three weeks to a month. You know, I've kind of kept this thing off, no problem. Last Friday, I was uh, actually at the gym and started feeling just basically like shit, you know, uh, if I was doing anything up until about, you know, 70, 75%, whether it was, you know, how much weight I was uh, using, how hard, because I, I was doing some minerals that day, how hard I was running, uh, how many reps I was doing, anything along those lines, man, I felt good, I felt really strong, really energetic, really fast, really powerful, once I hit about that 75, 80% level, again, on in any manner, man, phew, I was gone, and I knew something was coming. And I knew I was about to get sick or something like that. I just felt, because I, I would just go from feeling like a badass to feeling just gone, just done, you know. So, uh, like a dumbass, I didn't sleep, you know. Uh, I, I didn't uh, focus on trying to get some more sleep over the weekend and stuff like that. And hit it uh, real hard on Monday. Come Tuesday, it, I was just done. I did, you know, I, I knew it was coming. And again, like a dumbass, uh, I went to the gym again. And uh, I barely made it through the damn workout. I mean, I felt like I had just been hit by a, a truck. But, you know, because my internal, you know, get shit done factor, you know, kind of just took over. I went in and, and I still worked hard. And I, you know, I mean, hell, I, I decided um, to give you an idea of, of what a dumb thing I did. Inside of just, instead of just cutting the, the workout short, because I wasn't feeling strong, I decided to go do intervals instead. Yeah, so that wasn't the brightest of ideas, you know, when I knew I was getting sick got home that night and it just steadily declined and then when I woke up here uh, yesterday morning I was just uh, yeah I mean I felt like a, a truck had just like run my ass over so um that wasn't the smartest thing on my part what I should have done if I would had any brains 
you know, is I would have gone back and I would have done the same shit that had worked for me for about the past three weeks to a month. I would have dialed it back, wouldn't have worked as hard, would have made sure, you know, because I was still doing, you know, popping the vitamin C and, and, and other stuff like that. But I wasn't resting because we all know that's the biggest thing. You've got to get more sleep. you got to get more rest. I wasn't, you know, making sure I got more rest. I wasn't dialing back uh, the effort level. And so as a result, you know, this, you know, after, like I say, several weeks of trying to battle this thing, it finally was able to come in and just take over. And uh, I let it, basically, because I didn't, uh, I didn't back off like I should have. So if you're ever coming to a time you feel like you're about to get sick, do the same kind of thing. You know, if you're starting to feel just a little bit puny, get those preemptive measures in place. You know, rest a little bit more. Up the vitamin C, you know, the multivitamin intake. You know, get some extra zinc. Anything like that. Keep hitting the workouts hard. Um, if you feel like you're really starting to get sick and you feel like it's really starting to come on, keep hitting the gym, but back off a little bit. Really, you know, step up those preemptive measures. Get that stuff going, but dial it back. Don't just totally, don't totally quit. You know, because you don't, you don't want to be the pansy ass that looks for an excuse just to quit a workout every time. But if you feel like you got to dial it back, dial it back a little bit. And then, of course, if you're sick, there's just no sense in, you know, this macho bullshit attitude of, oh, I don't care what's going on. I'm still going to go to the gym and, you know, work my ass off. I don't care if I've got a 100 degree temperature, you know, temperature. Blah, blah, blah. That's a load of, you know, want to be cool guy bullshit. Just let that shit go. Take your time off. Get better. Get well. Because otherwise, if you're going and you're working hard and you're doing your intervals and you're trying to lift heavy and all this other stuff, when you're sick... All you're going to do is break your body down even more. You're not going to be able to rest. You're not going to be able to recover. You're not going to be able to repair because you've got the normal stressors uh, from your training doing a number on you. And then you've got this illness or disease or whatever it is that's that's doing a number on you too. So there's no point in, in doubling up. So just take a couple of days off, write it off, and then come back uh, when you're feeling better. So hopefully that can help you. Uh, hopefully you can avoid the mistake that I made here over the past few days. And, uh, you know, I, you know, me, I, I, I put my head up my ass sometimes too. So don't do like I did, you know, uh, but hopefully that helped. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like and share this on Facebook, tweet it out to all your buddies and, uh, hop on my newsletter list. You'll see a link here at the end of this video. Click on that link, enter in your email address, and I'll let you know when the new YouTube videos come out. Send you plenty of uh, tips and advice on how to get stronger, build a lean physique, get in uh, fighting shape, you know, really improve your conditioning. And I'll even send you a uh, free sample of working class fitness, killer MMA workouts. Good deal. All right. Train hard, rest hard, play hard.